Bruce Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. I want to talk to you today about deception and deliverance. And I want to tell you that the USA will be great again. The Bible tells us in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 3, Realize, however, that in the last days difficult times will come. People will be without natural affection, truce breakers. Adam Clark's commentary on the whole Bible on this passage regarding truce breakers is as follows. Truce breakers, negative and a libation, because in making treaties, libations both of blood and wine were poured out. The word means those who are bound by no promise, held by no engagement, obliged by no oath, persons who readily promise anything because they never intend to perform. Now let me give you my commentary on Adam Clark's commentary. Those who are bound by no promise, held by no engagement, obliged by no oath, persons who readily promise anything because they never intend to perform. But how much more those that take an oath, commit to a pledge, and then do not keep their word? I want to talk to you today about a systemic problem in leadership. Specifically, today, I'm talking about in the United States of America. And if we have this problem in leadership, then in the substrate of everyday life from which leadership develops, we have that problem. We've seen recently in political leadership of both major parties in the United States great deception as well as truce breaking. Several leaders of one political party of the USA recently struck a pledge, gave their word that they would support whomever of their party received the nomination and then went back on their word when they did not earn the nomination themselves. Basically, they became crybabies and went back on their word. They proved their mettle, that they are liars and not men of their word, and it turned out to be a good thing for the USA that they were not nominated. Why would you want somebody that strikes a pledge and cannot keep their word as the leader of your country? In the other main political party of the USA, the main contender has been publicly vilified and proven factually a liar many times by the head of the FBI and to have lied to the USA Congress many times. This is a short blog and a podcast today, but an important one. Basically, it concerns the tip of the iceberg. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 and 19 in the Amplified Bible tell us, These six things the Lord hates, indeed seven are repulsive to him. A proud look, or the attitude that makes one overestimate oneself and discount others or look down upon them. Condescending. Number two, a lying tongue. Number three, hands that shed innocent blood. Number four, a heart that creates wicked plans. Number five, feet that run swiftly to evil. Number six, a false witness who breathes out lies, even half-truths. And number seven, one who spreads discord or rumors among brothers. So how is the USA or any nation to be a conduit of blessing if its leaders are liars and do not keep their word? There must be, as in the past, A new wave of God-anointed, spirit-filled people who rise up from the midst of the populace and say enough is enough, as in the American Revolution when people wanted freedom from a tyrannical insider system, and as in the revivals of the 1850s and the Azusa Street Awakening of 1906. Here is the answer. It's a twofold plan to make America great again, and it's very simple. Step one. 2 Chronicles 7.14 tells us, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Step 2. Agree with me, Prince Handley, in the name of Jesus, for the following seven items. Number one, a great Holy Spirit baptized church or messianic synagogue to be raised up in every city, township, or neighborhood of the USA. Number two, a great Holy Spirit witness to be raised up 
in every family or clan of the USA. Number three, great Holy Spirit baptized apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to be raised up in every township of the USA. Number four, a great home or neighborhood spirit-filled Bible study and prayer group to be raised up in every neighborhood of the USA. Number five, for righteous, God-fearing leaders to be raised up in the next election. Number six, for spiritual awakening in the USA. And number seven, for miracles and divine intervention in government, military, education, business, judicial courts, and scientific arenas. Now, my friend, I have a special offer for intercessors that will agree with me for these seven items. I'm going to give you a free Prince Handley Power Book. If you will agree with me in prayer during the next four months until November 20th for the items in Step 2 and Step 1 that I mentioned, in other words, seeking God's face as in 2 Chronicles 7.14, and agreeing with me for the seven items I mentioned, if you will do those, then email me at princehandley at gmail.com, and I will send you a free Prince Handley Power Book that will bring God's miracles and faith into your life, your home, and your business. It's time to win, my friend. This is your friend, Prince Handley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. Baruch Bashim Adonai.